Hey everybody, it's Nick here from Grayscale Gorilla. And in today's video, I wanted to show you how to set up animated gobos inside of Redshift so that you can get those detailed moving shadows just like this. Now, if you've been trying to get this look inside of your renders, I'm here to show you a step-by-step -step way to do it right within Redshift in Cinema 4D. And with that, let's head on into today's tutorial. All right, here we are in Cinema 4D, and this is gonna be our final result. We have a really simple scene here with some basic uh, little objects and materials. Um, and I have the spotlight already set up. I wanted to show you the basic uh, final result here. We have these nice leaf dappling going on all over our objects. And uh, so this is gonna be the result. Let me just turn off our spotlight. And let's start from scratch here. Uh, the first thing we need to do is just grab a Redshift spotlight. Now, if you don't have this tab up here, uh, you just have to go into your edit preferences. And uh, when this opens up, go to renderer, Redshift, and then make sure you have Redshift main menu turned on. This could be a little bit confusing if it's not on by default for you. Okay, so then uh, grab your Redshift tab up here go to your lights, go to spotlight, and uh, you can see it makes a little spotlight here, and let's just take it and zoom it way back in Z space so it's projecting light onto the background. And you can see we have some basic shadows here, and now we just need to tell this spotlight what we want to project, almost like a film projector onto the background. So let's crank up the uh, brightness here quite a lot. Um, and I'm just gonna use exposure to go a little bit brighter just so we can see what's happening. And right here, this is the magic place you wanna put any gobo you're using, including the animated gobos. So uh, if you've been a Grayscale Gorilla Plus member, you've seen our regular gobos. These have been static gobos um, that give you this same effect, but they don't animate. And of course, the number one uh, thing we got, the number one piece of feedback we got when we launched these was these look great in stills, but I'm an animator, do you have any for animation? And that's what I'm here to show you is our animated gobos. And so all you need to do is open up the animated gobos tab once you have it downloaded here from the Grayscale Gorilla Hub and literally just drag it into your texture. And you can see now we have this um, uh, tree effect happening. We do have to scale it up a little bit though. Let's grab our cone angle and just scale it up. And I'm just gonna crank our exposure way bright just so we could see the effect a little bit better on the background. Okay, so now we have our tree, um, we have our um, uh, projection happening, but it's not in a great place. <laughs> it's just kind of like behind the camera. It's giving this spooky up lighting. Let's put it in a better spot. And uh, all the time I've uh, used this effect, um, it's really simple, you just grab a null and all you do is just make your spotlight a child of the null. And now you should be able to move the null uh, right here in the heading and uh, pitch, and it should keep roughly the same projection, just move it off to the side. So let's move it way off to the side, and let's move it up in the air as well. And you can see now we're getting it almost like the light's coming in from the side, like the sun's over here and it's go coming through the, the trees. And then we may have to just kind of rotate our spotlight here to center it on our scene a little bit. So let's move it up and let's move it over. And I like this little bright spot and we may have to just scale it up a little bit more. So I think we do this in object, cone angle, and we just grow this a little bit. Okay, once you have it here, um, you need to tell um, you need to tell Redshift and specifically this light that you want it to animate. So you could see as we scroll through, it's still treating it like just as a still gobo. So all you need to do here is open up your texture arrow right here. Under here, you're gonna see an animation tab. Go ahead and click that. And you wanna set your mode to loop. Uh, all of these animated gobos, the caustics, the trees, everything here is loopable. Um, so make sure if you're using them uh, for longer than 180 frames that you set it to loop. And then you have to click detect frames. In fact, it went in and looked and it said, look, there's 179 frames of these, and this is true with all of our animated gobos. They loop, uh, fully loopable, fully tileable, ready for you to go. So if now when we scroll through, you're gonna see the, the dappling is different. Okay, so one last thing I wanted to show you is how to set this up with HDRI Link because it works perfectly. If you find yourself wanting to try out different uh, gobos, um, this is the way to set it up. All you need to do is make sure you have Drop Zone installed. It's another plugin we have here in the Grayscale Gorilla Hub. Make sure it's down, uh, 
installed, and uh, I just dock it in my interface. All you have to do is drag uh, your texture into the drop zone and it automatically sets up an HDRI link tag. Now this works great with dome lights. It also works with area lights, spotlights, um, and also works with signal as well if you drag anything into here. We have training all about drop zone if you wanna learn about that. But now that you have HDRI uh, links set up, now all you have to do is literally click on any one of our animated gobos. In fact, I'm gonna click on these caustics to show you kind of a drastically different one. And I'm gonna crank up the brightness just a little bit so we could see it. They're all ready to animate. If I scroll through, you can see the animation is working. Even all of these trees as well. So um, we have windows with little trees coming through. Uh, we have tall windows with trees coming through. I love this with like the narrow blinds. Uh, this one's pretty fun as well. Um, yeah, that's great. Uh, also, these palm trees are beautiful. They have these nice chill swaying leaves. And now that you're all set up with HDRI link, you could just click through all of these and they're ready to go, instantly loopable and all set for your next render. Thanks again for watching everybody. And don't forget, if you're a Grayscale Gorilla Plus member, you have everything you saw in that video, including the brand new animated Gobos. And if you're not a member, definitely check the link down below and learn about the ultimate Cinema 4D toolbox that we've created to help you make better renders in less time. And with that, I hope to see you in another video really soon. Bye everybody.